So what's interesting about Gasworks here is that it actually came out on the same day as Crossfire and Frenzy did, but it actually didn't come in the patch that, you know, that 0. Point, sorry, 1.0.0.8 patch. Uh, you know where you got this? Uh, you downloaded Gasworks exclusively off of IGN.com. Because believe it or not, at one point in history, being associated with IGN was considered a good thing. Um, so yeah, it was an exclusive on their website for a little bit. Then eventually it was added into a later patch, obviously, because it always comes with the game now. Um, it's usually quite fondly remembered. In fact, Valve, in the same little release of, to IGN, when they gave it to IGN, they actually specifically told them that it was their favorite like deathmatch map. That was also the same time they said Crossfire was their favorite team play map. Um, but it's never really come up too much in discussions for like you know maps in this game which is odd because again almost everyone i've like i've seen refer to it looks back on it very fondly so the thing about this one is that it's very big it's not necessarily the like most complicated map in terms of like you know geometry but in terms of sheer size it's definitely one of the biggest and it's kind of organized into two distinct areas the top part here with buildings, these like wall, like you know, giant walkway stuff like that, containers, and then there's kind of an underground sort of like water base area, which is very unique. So obviously, um, we'll start with the one on top first. Uh, this map is unique in the sense of it really f prioritizes long range weaponry. There's a lot of close range fighting in the building, sure, but overall. Uh, this one it focuses a lot more on the crossbow and, like, those kind of weapons. Which, you know, again, it's pretty unique considering that usually, you know, snipers are usually a part of, like, you know, the like the Half-Life Deathmatch, but not to the extent of this map. So, yeah, anyway, I did just forget the name of the guy who created it. Um, but I think his initials are actually on the side of one of these buildings here. We'll take a look at that. Yeah. Roll it. RL. RL. Alright, well, I'll make sure to, to, when we, I actually play it, I'll get the right name, I'm sorry. I'm not usually that forgetful. So anyway, Gauze jumping in this top part is really helpful, as you can see right away. I'm not even gonna really, I don't really need to just demonstrate it to you to, for you to kind of figure out that if you want to get around this top part real quick and like, you know, kill some foos really fast, you gotta use that, you know, your Gauze jump. If you go in this building here, you got a few levels. You can go up and stop here first to get some claymores, lay some nice traps, get some nice health, always good stuff. Keep going up, and you'll hear someone else climbing with you, although it sounds like they don't really know what they're doing. I'll put you out of your misery. Sorry, Fatality. Uh, yeah. Get the RPG, though. Could be really helpful in this map. And you can obviously, if you have the gauze still, you can jump up to here from, like, you know, make a quick escape, or you can kill yourself. Alright, with that brief interruption out of the way, let's go into this building here. Which is how one well lead, one way you can get into the bottom section by pressing this little button here to open up this little trap door. Um, and you can't get out once you go down this way, so you're committed. Just keep that in mind. If you go up here, you can get a crossbow again, very helpful, and a charger. I have been spawn killed here, I might add, before, even by the bots. If someone waits here and you spawn, I can't remember which corner it is, and they have it, and they like the reaction's good enough, it's basically an insta kill. So be very careful. Uh, one thing I actually really don't like about that this map because of that, I'm very, very, very much not a fan of like being spawn killed in any game. So yeah, here's some just more like areas to go look around here. You probably don't want to stick around in the open here too long. So that leads me to the um, kind of the centerpiece or like you know the the main attraction of this map here, which is the gigantic, like, walkways. Got a lot of really cool weapons on there, but, you know, you really want to be careful if you're doing that. On this level here, um, you can go over and get... I know there's something here. I think it's gauze ammo that's here. I think it's just been collected already. As you can see, it's not perfectly connected, so if you want to go up here first to get the gauze, you can, but, you know, definitely be careful. Because, you know, obviously, well, like, with such an emphasis... Yeah, I was right about that. With such an emphasis on, like, snipering, you know, you're probably not going to have a good time if you stand around in one place too long. Please ignore that failure of a gauze jump. If you come up here, 
You'll be able to grab some charges, very good, and obviously crossbow, very important. Take advantage of the fact that you got it. For some reason, this ladder always decides to be an asshole and, like, prevent me from jumping. Well, besides the fact that there's a wall here. I mean, there's a spawn right there, but I've always felt that issue, like, you know... Or rather, you get teleported there by one of the little teleporters in the map. It's just weird, the little collision there. You can get on top of these crates for, like, you know, a strategic advantage, but, you know, there's nothing actually up there. So let's go head down into the basement now. I There are actually a few ways to go, as far as I'm aware, but we'll... Actually... No, yeah, there is a few ways. I don't know why I forgot. You can go down this way. I'm actually going to show this one first. So yeah, if you go down here, do be careful because someone could be waiting for you. And you know, obviously, you know, you shoot you right in the frickin' face. If you do choose to go this way too, there is actually only one way to go. Which is down. Get some uh, satchels though. Now, if you fall down to the water here, I've already showed it off, but I'll show it again. Is how you get into the one teleporter that leads you on top of this thing. Um, but, instead, if you so desire, using this way... You can get back into other areas of the map here. You just gotta be careful when you're falling down. I mean, you can climb back up, but someone could be waiting down there. So ideally, you don't want to hang around too long. Got yourself a health kit, some SMGs, and some health. Always a fun time guaranteed for all. Now, here's the surface axe. I don't know why. I played this last night just to test it and try to remember everything. And I already forgot about these, like, little bunkers here. So this is one of two of these little things on each side where you can get up to the surface if you so desire. Get some of that crossbow ammo, very important. Get some of those, say that there's satchels. And this is the main underground area, which I'll talk about a little bit more in depth. Or rather, actually, I'm just going to do it now, because why not? Now you can see this one is very layered and also open, so you know, it's cross sniping down here is a good time as well. So you get the crossbow up here. Be careful while you're doing that, because someone could be watching from any angle. Let's hang around on the top floor here still a bit, though. If you go this way, here's that other... No, actually, no, the other ladder, I believe, is up here. Yep. I'll show it off anyway, but essentially, yeah, this is the surface axis on the other side of the map. Um, you'll use your imagination. I don't feel like climbing up. Get an SMG, of course. If you want to get to one of the lower levels from outside of the... Without going through here, you can. If you do take the go to this area here, you can get the RPG and the shotgun. So this is a very good area to hold, but obviously, you're probably going to be under pretty intense fire if you happen to stand here. I should mention I really like the lighting of this one little area here. It's like that particular kind of like, you know, grungy, dirty, underground look I kind of like. Just thought I'd point that out there. It's got nothing to do with how the map plays, of course, but you know. Let's go back up because I want to talk about the actual pillars or whatever we want to call them. First time, this isn't a very beginner-friendly map, I might add. First time playing it, you're probably going to get lost trying to figure out where, everyone, where it goes. But obviously, once you play it more and more, you're going to remember more and more where everything is. So on this level, you got some SMGs and some grenades with that particular set of SMG. If you go this way, get some health. Uh, I think, yeah, another gauze. And gauze jumping in this indoor area can be really helpful. Especially to get through the different areas and stuff like that. This is one of the best maps for gauze jumping, from what I remember playing. On the bottom floor here is, I think, n no weapons, but definitely some charges. Um, if you go this way, there's actually just a ladder. I thought there might be a weapon here, but I guess I remembered wrong. I'll talk about this area in a bit. So this water, it doesn't have too many in the way of items. Obviously, if a lot of people end up dying, you're going to be picking up a lot of people's, like, stocks that they dropped. Or whatever you want to call this. They're stashes. Use your own word. I don't really care. But you'll notice that this first leads into that one teleporter from earlier. But there's also a little a hidden area here. Which is how you get into this little area. Which has a nice RPG. Um, and there's some more SMGs. There's a lot of SMGs on this map if you can't tell. Um, which is funny for such an emphasis on sniper play. I actually don't think there's a single revolver I just realized on this whole map. I swear, I don't... Yeah, I haven't picked one up yet, and I haven't died aside from that one goof. Maybe it's here. No, nope. I thought for a second there was some item I just never noticed. But if you go this way, there's actually another teleporter. And that leads you just to here. Uh, again, do be careful, though, because pe I've, like, you know, people can always be a little crafty and remember where all the sniper, like, sniper areas and stuff are. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, about it. 
I'm gonna find out who made this map because I forget everything because I'm an idiot and then we'll play it. Randy Ladine. That's who made this map. That should have been kind of, you know, obvious because I've seen that name before. I don't know particularly where if he made another map, but I've already forgotten that. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention Gauze here. If I well actually I did mention that, but I forget like, you know, I assumed I didn't. Never mind, I'm an idiot. But yeah, Randy Lundine made this, so you know, that's his initials up there. Randy Lundine multiplayer. Whoa! Now, if you're wondering, again, oh, how come this idiot is playing with eight people on such a big map? Well, you know what? Boo to you. Because in that IGN pro release or whatever, this map was recommended as either eight to 24 people. So I am well within the limitations of what they said. I don't know what I'm talking about. In fact, I somehow only did six, so never mind. I'm an idiot. All right, somehow I entered six on the player entry there, there. I'm a freaking idiot. Now nah, I'm paranoid. Oh, that's the stuff right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually genuinely shocked there's no, um, wow. Well, first of all, I'm not shocked how bad my aim is. But what I am shocked is that they wouldn't think to put any revolvers in this map. You know, that's like the definitive, like, RPG, I mean, the sniper weapon. And it's not like a case of, like, you know, maybe they didn't want the... A weapon that traveled immediately across to, like, you know, the, where it's supposed to hit. Because in multiplayer, the crossbow does hit automatically in sniper mode. So, I don't get it. That is very bizarre. My aim is goddamn terrible. My goodness. <laughs> oh my god, that was the most embarrassing display I think I've ever given on this channel. Wow. I apologize. If you've, like, suffered secondhand embarrassment from that, I really, truly apologize. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm just embarrassed. I'm so sorry. Oh my fucking god! Now I'm actually getting genuinely insulted with myself. Oh my god, we have a Christmas miracle. I actually hit someone. That only took way too long. Yeah, well, that was very inconsiderate of you. Oh, but that was a sick little RPG shot there. I had some redemption. By the way, in one of those tele these teleport areas is the uh, long jump. I just didn't, like, see it when I w was over there. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, this map, Gasworks, a really tr big treat to play. Uh, especially if you don't suck so hard like me.